It's finally Studio Colorido's time to shine. After years of creating independent works and commercials, the studio is finally hitting the limelight. In 2018, they made their feature film debut with Penguin Highway. But now, in 2020, the team is releasing the film A Whisker Away, the anime adaptation of the Bleach author's Burn the Witch, and the web series Pokemon Twilight Wings. Here's five things you need to know about this exceptional studio. Probably the most important thing to know about Colorido is that this is a digital studio. They've been steadily moving away from using paper at their studio at all. This is uncommon for anime studios. In fact, when Netflix was going around asking studios to make 4K anime, they were frequently told, well, we'll need to start drawing on bigger sheets of paper. Digital animation can speed things up, and by removing some of the bottlenecks in traditional animation, Colorido aims to spend more time on expressive character animation. And it shows. Right now we're in an odd time with many people now living in quarantine and practicing social distancing. And this goes for anime companies as well. Some companies are working from home, but there's many studios in Japan that just aren't ready for this process. But not only does Colorido now have every employee now working from home, they were also one of the first teams to do so. In February, Colorido's parent company Twin Engine reported that one of their freelancers had been in close contact with someone with the virus. And so they took swift action early on. This focus on working conditions is at the premise of Colorido. The studio was set up as a way of avoiding the nightmare of TV anime production schedules and the constant culture of overwork that pervades the anime industry. And so they started out just producing independent and commercial animation. The creativity of these works helped them build a profile and expand the studio to now create feature films with impressive creators, all without ever having to make a TV anime. One of the landmark commercial works Colorido created was actually a recruitment ad for McDonald's, which was a huge deal. Not only did it broadcast on TV, but the illustrations for that ad were a constant feature in Japanese McDonald's branches. They made two different ads, with character designs and animation direction by Namiko Ishidate, who won the Newcomer Animator Award in 2014. These commercials are absolutely delightful, and many who've worked at McDonald's have mentioned that they only wish it could have been like that. Before designing for these ads, Ishidate had hardly any experience, mainly having done key animation for a few shows before suddenly creating the face for an advertising campaign for one of the world's biggest brands. This is kind of a theme at Colorido. It's a studio where you're judged by your skill rather than your experience. Hiryas Ishida, director of Penguin Highway, didn't spend years as an animator or production assistant. He just started Colorido and then started making stuff. This is a studio where you're given a chance to prove yourself, and because of this, they've managed to create some stunning anime, just by giving the right people a chance. Thanks for watching OtaQuest in Japan. Feel free to subscribe to find out more about the art and creation of Japanese pop culture.